Okay, we'll go ahead and start the meeting. Welcome to the special meeting here on Thursday, June 4th, 2020. Um, we called this meeting about a day and a half ago because we've got a special road project. It's a $50,000 road project that we need to talk about. And that was the uh, agenda item. So um, we'll go ahead and take roll call. Uh, Mr. Stathikis? Yes. Uh, I don't know if this is the appropriate time. We want to take roll call first, but I uh, would ask the board to consider an addition to the agenda. Okay, we'll go ahead and take roll call and we'll consider that addition. Thank you very much. Mr. Clerk, please take the roll. Uh, Mr. Clerk? Yeah, he's on there. He might be having some phone issues. Yeah. Okay. I guess I'll, I'll start roll call. Mr. Slapnikis? Here. Mr. Grote, I see him here, just not above volume yet. Mr. Flynn. I'm here. Mrs. Casale. Here. Mr. Vermeulen. Here. Mr. Viviano. Here. Mrs. Wilhelm. Here. Mrs. Wilhelm here. Mr. Chairman, yes. we have a quorum. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Deputy. And I, uh, I'll take for granted that uh, Mr. Grote is on probably right okay yes he, he is on okay so uh we have one item on the agenda it's a fifty thousand dollar addition to our road project funding which will really be reconstruction and we'll talk about in just a moment uh but mr huth you said you have another item you want to add yes thank you very much uh, mr supervisor and and if i uh counted uh correctly i think all seven board members are in this meeting uh, i appreciate that uh, but what I'd like to have added to the agenda is uh, my request that uh, we put the, um, have a motion to put the police chief on paid administrative leave while we make an investigation into, regarding um, some of his conduct and comments. So the, the, the motion would be, and I'll explain it if you add it to the agenda, yeah. put him on paid administrative leave. Thank you, Mr. Huth. I, I move to approve the regular agenda as presented, uh, or and also to approve with the addition of request police uh, police chief Robert July uh, on paid administrative leave following uh, the an investigation. Is that correct, Mr. Huth? Yes, it is. Thank you. Thank you. Who would like to make that motion? Board member, please. What are we? So yes. moved, Mr. Chairman. Okay, motion made by Mr. Flynn. Who would like to second the motion? Or seconded by Mr. Viviano. Okay. We'll Any discussion? That. Roll call, please. Um, Mr. Flynn? Yes. Mr. Viviano? Yes. Mr. Grote? He's here. He just can't vote yet on that. Mrs. Casale? Yes. Mr. Vermeulen? Mr. Vermeulen? He's muted. Yes. Ms. Wilhelm? Ms. Yes. Wilhelm? Mrs. Wilhelm? Ms. Wilhelm? Ms. Wilhelm, we just lost her. Yeah, she's not on there. Okay, well, we, we have enough votes. Um, do, yeah. And I vote yes. Mr. Sapicus, yes. Yep. Yeah, so we, we count five five votes and two people are having technical difficulties. So we will proceed with the meeting. We will add that to the agenda. We now have two items on the agenda. So um, at this point, I would ask for any public participation. This is a time of the meeting where if anyone wants to discuss anything or has questions regarding um, you know, our agenda items or anything, um, this would be the time. And I would remind anyone out there who wants to discuss or question, I'm talking about public, anyone from the public, you need to unmute yourself. Just a polite reminder. You have to give her name and address. A name and address. Thank you, Mr. Viviano. There's a three minute time limit. Yes. Thank you. I appreciate all the support from my teammates. Thank you. I'm a little rusty. I haven't done this in two weeks three weeks. Okay. 
Okay, um, then I will close public discussion and we will begin with a meeting. Mr. Gordy Wilson, our, a our engineer from AEW, will go ahead and tee this up. And then after you do an explanation, I'll ask for a motion. And, and Mr. Wilson, I think you're also planning on telling why this is so important. Yes, I will. Thank you, Mr. Supervisor. As part of the 2019 Pavement Preservation Program through the Road Commission, they paved Woodmer and were supposed to pave Starlight from Woodmer to Galaxy last year with the program. Unfortunately, Starlight was not paved from Woodmer to Galaxy last year. They are going to do it this year within the next few weeks, but that's only about a 500-foot section of the road. There's an additional 1,850 feet that takes it from Galaxy all the way to down to 24, and they could pave the entire road to make it a complete, fully-looking new road surface for the resurfacing of it. So obviously, from an aesthetics perspective and from having a uniform-looking consistency on the road, it's a good idea. The prices were, I recently talked to the Macomb County Department of Roads, the prices that were put forth by the contractor in order to do this were for about $54,000. And working with the Department of Roads today, we were able to get the cost share agreement, which I sent an email out to you uh, earlier today. I just got them a couple hours ago, and I really appreciate the help from the Macomb County Department of Roads and putting this together so fast. But the total cost of the project would end up being $61,020 from that. That includes all administrative, all inspection. Yeah, Gordy, is that CE and, and admin, right? Yeah, that's CE, okay. and then they, the Macomb County Department of Roads, roads did waive any preliminary engineering costs. Right, there's that. no PE, correct. So they, they worked really well today and very quickly for us, and they also saved us some money on this project too, quite frankly. So right now, they have a uniform looking road all the way from Woodmark down to 24 Mile Road. It's our recommendation that you approve the cost share agreement for $61,020 to be paid entirely by Shelby Township. Okay. So this would be in addition to the $20 million that we have set aside for 2019 and 2020. And also, um, well, yes, I want to give a special thanks to Gordy Wilson, who's been all over this when you found out about the opportunity, but also Vince Viviano, who is always there for us uh, with the uh, road, um, uh, Macomb Road Commission. And we want to thank you too very much uh, for working, keeping his costs down, Vince. And actually, he's one of our inspectors in the field, a guy by the name of Terry Constantine, who's very, very good at what he does. He was the one that kind of, I mean, talked to Gordy for a minute and brought it forth to Gordy and I. And it's a great idea. Well, Vince, I just want you to know you should take the credit because if this didn't go through, yeah. I'm blaming you right now. You know, I pushed on it today to get it. Done. <laughs> I can say that much. No, yeah, thank you. Thank you. Agree, You've been pushing all along. Gordy, you too. Thank you. Any questions from the board on this $50,000 addition to our $20 million road project, which uh, will be completed at the end of 2020? Okay. We'll go ahead and take a roll call vote. Uh, I think we got to make the like motion. motion, Mr. Chairman. I'll, yeah, I'll make the motion. Go ahead, go Mr. Vigiano. To uh, concur with the recommendation of town engineer and enter into a cost to share agreement between the Chartered Township of Shelby and the Macomb County Department of Roads to resurface approximately 1,800 feet of Starlight Drive at a cost not to not to exceed 60,000 and amend the budget accordingly. Second. May, may I say something? Well, yeah, that, what do you do? Hold on. Yeah, now. on here it's still 60. What is the figure, Gordy? $61,020. Not to exceed $61,020? That's correct. Motion made by Mr. Viviano, seconded by Mr. Vermeulen. Was that you? Flynn. And Mr. Flynn, thank you. Seconded by Mr. Flynn. Now, I hate to have you do this again, Mr. Viviano, but yes. there's a technical glitch and some of the motion did not come clearly okay. stated. Can you repeat the motion? Sure. To concur with the recommendation of the Township Engineer and enter into a cost share agreement between the Charter Township of Shelby and Macomb County Department of Roads to resurface approximately 1,800 feet of Starlight Drive at a cost not to exceed $61,020 and amend the budget accordingly. Okay. Motion made by Mr. Flynn. I second Flynn. that. Seconded by Mr. Flynn. Thank I second you. that. Well, 
Um, Mr. Flynn already he already seconded it um, many minutes ago. Oh. So okay, yes. well I just wanted to let you know I'm in the meeting. Oh yeah, oh yeah, okay. Okay, Stan. Um, and as part of the discussion, I know there's another big road project that's going to be happening in in uh, Shelby Township too, and I, I know it's not this agenda item, but it's that 2353 intersection. Is that correct, Mr. Uh, Gro? Yes, it is, and that's a two and a half million dollars project. And I'm going to be talking to Mr. Viviano next couple of days. We're putting some. We're going to put some together. Okay. Okay. Well, it's already in the. It's already in the plan. You're talking about some yeah. kind of um, um, ceremony or grand price opening release. or whatever. Yes, correct. Okay. High price for these. So. Okay. Thank you very much, everybody. Any other questions or discussion? We'll take a roll call, please, Mr. Grove. Uh, Mr. Viviano. Yes. Mr. Flynn. Yes. Lisa Casali. Yes. Stanley Grunt. Yes. Rick Staffordus. Yes. Lynn Wilhelm. Technical. Uh, Lynn? Yeah, technical difficulty, but she'll be back. Go ahead. Okay, John Vermeulen. Yeah. John, are you on? Yes. Yes. Motion carries, motion carries, Mr. Chairman. Okay, good job, everybody. So that will bring the grand total to twenty million, some um, sixty thousand dollars over two years. So uh, it's going. Shelby Township is going to look a little different at the end of this year, especially when we get that intersection done at twenty three uh, and fifty three M fifty three. So good, thank you. Now the next topic, I'm going to let you, Mr. Huth, tee this up since you're the one who requested the addition of this um, um, agenda item. Thank you, uh, board and Mr. Supervisor, Mr. Staff, because um, I've asked you <clears throat> to consider this uh, agenda item um, because today the township's been made aware of social media posts that were allegedly linked to Chief Shalide. Um, I view this uh, as a matter that uh, needs to be investigated. I know the board views it the same way. Uh, and while it's being investigated and the facts are looked into, um, I'd ask that the board uh, consider my recommendation to put the chief on a paid administrative leave while we look into this. I will say that it's not a recommendation that I come to easy. Uh, the department has been run uh, in an A plus matters with Chief Shalide. Uh, we have good reports from third parties, from residents and from those that work with them. But uh, while this process is being looked at and investigated, I think it's necessary to take this step to put the Chief on paid administrative leave and ask the board to so concur. I would ask uh, the board to make a motion, please. If. if and if I could uh, add one other thing, I did speak with Chief Shalide uh, a half hour ago uh, and I told him that I would be making this recommendation uh, with the now. Mr. Huth, too, could you just explain why the standard policy is paid versus unpaid leave? We're getting some questions from uh, the citizens. Yeah, well, be, uh, at this time, uh, our employees are under uh, a presumption of uh, innocent uh, until things are investigated, that there's been no wrongdoing until there's a finding of wrongdoing, um, that this depart our township has a long history, as do other municipalities that our firm represents, of always putting folks on paid leave while the facts are looked into. Um, otherwise, uh, the hardship to the employee, just based on allegations, not here, but in other ones as well, is, uh, is too steep, too much of a burden. Uh, most union employees uh, are, have, are entitled to contractual protection of paid leave. While this is not a union position, um, it is certainly consistent with the way the township handles these matters to uh, have paid administrative leave. So it would be um, uncharted territory not to pay during this time period. Okay. Welcome back, Ms. Wilhelm. We know you had some technical difficulty. It's nice to see you back. Thank you. Okay. Um, if there's no discussion, I, can, I would we, can someone make a motion first and second it? So 
I would, the motion would be, uh, um, I would say motion to put the police chief Robert Shalide on paid administrative leave while um, investigation is underway regarding uh, alleged comments on social media. I would make a motion to put Chief Shalide on administ paid administrative leave until there's a proper uh, investigation done. Motion made by Mr. Viviano, who would like to second it? I'll support. Motion made by Mr. Viviano, seconded by Ms. Wilhelm. Any further discussion? Yes. Mr. Vermeulen. Yes, I would, I would like to say that our chief enjoys an excellent reputation in the community. He's liked by many citizens. He's respected by his police officers. I, I think that the chief has had a long history of very successful service to the community in various positions of law enforcement, starting from the 12 and 18 years of age. I think he's had a broad depth of training. And I, I, I would hate to think that we are, you know, putting him on paid administrative leave only to find out he was exercising his First Amendment rights. I, I was contacted by a number of media earlier today. And, uh, I have a hard time believing that, um, you know, the, the comments, they do their investigation. I just hope that we do not uh, in any way infringe upon the, the Chief's First Amendment rights. Secondly, my concern is that uh, we may be putting our law enforcement and our military in too much politi political correctness microscope. Uh, that's all I have to say. Any other viewpoints? Okay, we'll go ahead. Will you just, will you just um, let's make sure, please, that we've uh, had all the public comment. Uh, and at the beginning? Craig, Craig's com comfortable with that? I'm, I'm sorry, Mr. Hoop, could you repeat that one, one yeah. more time? Did anybody talking to me? Yeah, I was. I apologize. It's tricky uh, circumstances. I was just asking, are you comfortable that we got uh, the public comments that were trying to be heard? heard? Uh, yeah, we, we opened it up for the public comment, but we'll also do business from the floor at the end. Okay, from, thank you. From residents. Thank you. And they'll, of course, have their three minutes at that point. Thank you, sir. Okay, we'll go ahead and vote on a paid administrative leave. Uh, please take uh, the roll call or the roll, please. Mr. Clerk. Mr. Viviano. Yes. Mr. Viviano. Yes. Lynn Wilhelm. I think we lost her. Lynn Wilhelm. Yeah, she fell off again. Lisa Casali. She's muted. Yes. Michael Flynn. Yes. Stanley Grout, yes. Rick Sapicus. Yes. John Vermeulen. Yes, given that the chief has accepted this. And uh, Lynn Wilhelm. Let's see. Um, what we might be able to do is uh, get Lynn's vote when uh, as the meeting wraps up, so we can maybe hold that thought for a minute. Well, she, she also seconded the motion. Oh, yeah. So I would presume yes. She was the second. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. So we can presume we'll confirm that before the meeting is over. Okay, so Mr. Clerk, uh, motion passes unanimously. Well, motion motion passes, but we we need to confirm with Lynn Wilhelm on the I'm second. On. Can oh, you hear me? Yeah. I'm yes. on. Yes, I, I'm. Yes. You're voting yes. Yes. Yeah. Can Can I just make one suggestion, though, sir? Can we just do the roll call one more time, just so we make sure we got it? Okay. Thank you. Thank you I'm Mr. sorry. Uh, ben Viviano. Yes. Lynn Wilhelm. Yes. Lisa Casali. Yes. Michael Flynn. Yes. Stanley Gro Yes. Rick Staphicus. Yes. And John Vermeulen. Yes, with reservations. All right. That's unanimous. Okay, thank you very much, everybody. Now, open up to the, are there any questions from the public from the floor? And by the way, um, this is your chance to speak. 
A uh, reminder though, uh, to all members of the public, press star six on your telephone to unmute, unmute your uh, microphone and our meeting host will not be unmuting you. So that's your responsibility. And we'll pause for a brief moment to see if anyone would like to speak, which I'm doing now. Uh, hi, it's Ross Jones of Channel 7. Can you hear me? Yes, Mr. Jones, how are you? I'm well, thank you. I appreciate the, the opportunity to ask a question here. Um, I understand that it's early in your investigation, but you know, uh, I feel like a probably obvious first question here would be to ask the chief, did you write these tweets? Has that been asked? And if so, has he given an answer? Thank you, Mr. Jones. Uh, uh, Rob Huth, I'm an attorney with the township. Uh, we just initially started looking at the, the facts today. This is literally a couple hours in, and at this time, we're not going to be commenting on the, the details of the investigation. Anyone else? Okay. Okay, so a question did come in on email. Who was responsible for the investigation? A third party or the police department, Mr. Huth? Um, well, third, under those uh, those choices of a third party, uh, we're a firm that has been hired by the township and we will conduct an investigation, report our recommendations to the uh, township board. Okay, I think that's it. And I just want to let everybody know, uh, Mr. Huth and the Board of Trustees, that my mailbox is empty here for the meeting at shelbytwp.org. Okay, I will close down public participation, and now I will entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved, Mr. Chairman. Second. Second by Mr. Flynn, seconded by... Lisa Casale. Second. Ms. Casale. Okay, uh, motion made by Mr. Flynn and seconded by... Ms. Uh, Mrs. Uh, Lisa Casale, all those in favor of adjourning the meeting, please. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Roll call, Mr. Chairman. Let's take a roll call. Thank you. Yep. Michael Flynn. Yes. Lisa Casale. Yes. Stanley Gord. Yes. Rick Stapicus. Yes. Lynn Wilhelm. She looked very quiet. She would probably vote yes, but go ahead, keep going. Yes, that was for me. Yes, I'm sorry. Yes. <laughs> That's John, John Newman. Yes. Vince Viviano. Yes. Oh, yes, Mr. Chairman. And yes for me. Okay. I did. Thank you, everybody. And uh, thank you for attending this uh very late uh meeting but it uh, uh we we got done what we needed to thanks a lot and we'll we'll talk to you soon bye